Well, hi there, I'm Andy Walker from Butterscotch.com and this is another edition of iPhone Basics. Today I'm going to show you how to connect to the internet using your iPhone. After all, it's a smartphone. And a smartphone means a phone with a computer that has data capabilities. So, let's get started with that. Your iPhone can be connected to a data network over cellular. You can tell it's connected based on this up here. This shows your wireless carrier, or your cellular carrier. 3D shows it's a fast network. You may see Edge or GPRS here, which are slower wireless data networks on the iPhone that the iPhone uses. Now, you have a second option to connect to the internet using a wireless access point or Wi-Fi access point. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But first, how do you get on the internet? Well, Let's browse the web first. I'm going to click on the Safari web browser right here. Safari. Click on that. And I am going to wait for the web browser here to catch up. I'm going to choose this here. I'm going to clear it. And I'm going to type www.butter. Scotch.com. Now I've typed this before as you can see and it's available right there. So I can just touch that or I could continue to type if it doesn't appear. I'm just going to choose Butterscotch. Now you can see that it's connected to the cellular network here and that's basically working away. And there is Butterscotch.com. One thing to note about the iPhone, it does not support Flash. Flash is a technology used to display multimedia and video. And where the flash icon is, there's a little box there. It's broken. So some websites, will, you will not be able to see some of the content on it, unfortunately, until Apple addresses that issue. While you're on the web page, though, you can either view it in this mode, meaning vertical, or you can rotate it. And inside, there is a switch that will allow you to view it horizontally as well. And I can scroll up like that. Scroll down like that. If I rotate it again, I'm going to have to turn it all the way up. There we go. That goes to horizontal mode again. So it's just like using a web browser at home. That's over cellular. Now, let me show you how to turn Wi-Fi on so that if you're at a Starbucks or if you're at home with a wireless network or if you're at work, you can connect much faster using a wireless network that's local. Let's do that. I'm going to push this button here to go back to the main menu. Then I'm going to go up here to settings. Settings right here. And I'm going to look down the list here for Wi-Fi. You can see Wi-Fi is currently it's turned off. I'm going to click to turn it on again. And I am going to say turn it on it will automatically start to look for a wireless network. In this particular case, I'm at work at butterscotch.com and we only have one network here, it's called Bovine. So I could click on that to connect to that, to surf not on cellular anymore, but on the wireless network. Don't forget too, there is no fees for a wireless Wi-Fi network, usually unless you've paid up front, for example, at a Starbucks or an airport. But if you're using it at home or at the office, there's no uh, per data rate at all. So it's a cheap way to surf the internet very quickly. One downside, of course, is that um, it's going to burn your battery a little bit faster. So be cautious. If you can use Wi-Fi all the time, your battery will run out much faster than normal if you're using cellular. To connect to a network, you're just going to simply choose it by touching it. Now, I know a couple things about this just by looking at this bovine network. I know that the lock there shows it's a secure network, so I'll need a password to log on to it. I can see the signal strength of the network here. And then this arrow here takes me to the advanced options around the network, so it gives me all kinds of other data. You generally don't have to worry about that, so let's go back. I'm just going to click Select, and it's going to ask me for my password to connect to the network. Now, some networks don't have a password, and that's okay. It'll simply connect if that's the case. 
Sometimes, too, you'll be able to connect without a password, but you'll be required to log in on the web. So once you're connected, you're going to want to go back to your wireless web browser once you're connected to the Wi-Fi network and go back to your Safari browser and then follow the instructions to log on to the Wi-Fi network. This will occur if you're at Starbucks or some other place where it requires you to pay as you go on a Wi-Fi network at an airport, at a coffee shop, somewhere like that. That is how to get on to the internet and browse the web using your iPhone. This has been another edition of the iPhone Basics tutorial series. You can see other episodes of this series, this 10-part series, at butterscotch.com. I'm Andy Walker. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.